Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Richard here. Today I'm going to be doing a review and talking to you guys about my new camera. Um, I got the Fujifilm Instax Mini 8. I got it in the white color. This also comes in light blue, light pink, light yellow, uh, and black. Those are like the main colors that it's like originally Fujifilm company made. Uh, now they have three colors, uh, grape, raspberry, and teal. So if you guys like those new ones, go check it out. Um, these cameras cost about 80 to 100 bucks. I got mine for actually 40 to 50 because it was on a promotion. And also that this camera came with two packs of film. So I was really, really lucky saving money that way. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Here is, of course, your lens. This is your flash. And I recommend you putting some duct tape because there is no turning off the flash uh, option. Um, so the flash always goes on. So if you don't want that, put the duct tape on and you're good to go. This is a sensor that indicates which setting you should put your camera on, which is these guys, but I'll talk about that in just a minute. This is the viewfinder. That's your shutter button. On the side, this is where you can put this part on. So there's two sides, which is good. This is the battery compartment. You need two AA batteries. Um, it doesn't charge so yeah this is the back of course that's the viewfinder again this just shows you this yellow line so how to put the pack of uh, film in you have to match the two yellow lines together um, don't ever open this until this tells you zero and right now I have two film left two pictures left so of course I'm not gonna open that um, and then back to the front this is the power button let me show you on the side and then you have to see this red light blinking. Then you are ready to take a picture. And this is, of course, the button to take a picture. Uh, this is where all the settings are. So there's a house setting, a cloud, um, sun setting, and an extra setting, sunny. Um, and there's something called high key. And high key, a lot of people don't know what that is. Because the instructions that my camera came with, they're like all in Japanese. So I had to figure that out on my own by googling it or watching YouTube videos about it. Um, but basically what it does is it makes your picture come out even brighter. So even more than the extra sunny. So if you're let's just say in a dark area, maybe like outside, like a near campfire or like stuff like that. Um, maybe that's when you would turn on the high key mode. Um, but I never used it because I'm never in a really, really dark place. So that's why I don't know how it looks like on a picture. But yeah. So right now, since I'm indoor, of course, it's telling me to put it on the house setting. And then what you do is turn it. You hear that? That's how you turn it to other settings. So this is on cloudy, sun, extra sunny, and then high key. Uh, that's pretty much it and now I just move the camera a little and now it's telling me to do cloudy But anyways, you get the point. Um, and of course, this is where the film comes out of I do have examples of pictures that I can show you And before I show you this is the book This is how that's me. This is the book that I found like a photo album. I don't know why I'm saying book This is the photo album where you can store all your pictures and stuff like that and it has up to um, 40 to 50 spaces. And I got mine at Michael's. Um, it took me a really long time to find these because a lot of people, they just didn't sell it even though they sell the Fujifilm cameras. And I was like, where am I going to get this? And I heard that you can get it on Amazon. And they have a lot of colors of these booklets, but there's less space in them. So keep that in mind also. Even though it is cheap, you get less space in here. I got mine for five bucks, five dollars. It was on promotion, so yeah, that's why I that's why I got mine because I'm not gonna pay like a lot of it, a lot for it. Um, so yeah, it holds up to 40, like I said, and this is not included, so you can put 41 pictures in it. That's a picture of me. It was in the nighttime, but I turned on the flash. I mean, I did the um, I think it was like extra sunny or sunny, even though I was indoor. But like it kind of like blurred my eye out, but that's okay. I was just testing it anyways, so I'm okay with that. 
But um, these pictures, each one costs like about a dollar, so again, keep that in mind. It is really expensive. Um, the film's also really expensive too. Um, I think it's about 8 to 11 bucks for a pack of 10. And a lot of people are saying if you buy them in 40s or 50, like a bulk, it'll be cheaper for you that way. So I recommend you guys doing that. Um, but anyways, I just hope that you guys pick up a camera. Um, let me know down in the comments if you do have it and if you have any tips and tricks. Also, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, I recommend you guys getting one of these. They're really fun to play around with. And they're really compact and very easy to take ev around with you everywhere you go. So thanks guys for watching again and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.